Hi families, it's Sarah here. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. I miss all of you. I really miss the kids, but I'm excited to start distance learning on Monday. I did want to go over a few things really quickly before we started. Um, daily activities is always going to be the first page. You'll get a PDF in your email inbox and also on it'll be posted on the Class Dojo every Monday. It'll have a week's worth of activities. Also posted daily on the Class Dojo page, and I can email them if you'd like as well. There will be YouTube playlists listed on Mondays, thir Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. On Wednesdays, support for learning is going to be the phone conferences, and we can do those either on the phone, through FaceTime, through Zoom, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm happy to text. It's just whatever works for you and your family. If Wednesdays are not an option, there are other availabilities. Just please let me know and we can make arrangements. Um, we are asking students to read for 20 minutes a day with a family member, and it doesn't matter what that looks like, if it's books on tape, if you're holding the book and playing a song, if even if the child is watching things like barefoot books on YouTube, that's okay too. It's really, again, whatever works for you and your family. Um, coloring for 20 minutes, we are asking families to try to do that. But again, if it's too stressful, I know there are a lot of students who really struggle with that. And if it really becomes a problem, just stop and let go. And again, we can talk during our conferences about maybe some other options for your child. Gross motor, um, we love it when kids can be outside, but again, these times that we live in, unfortunately, it's not always an option. Um, there is a really cool kids indoor obstacle course with a lot of different pieces of just things you can find around the house. So that may be an option for some. There's also a YouTube movement playlist. Those songs are all familiar to our kids, so they should know all of them. Sensory play is a really important piece, and again, this one should be fun. So it's about finding what your student is really into, and you guys know your kids better than anyone. A really popular option that is super straightforward is just dish soap and water and letting the kids wash their toys, trying to get some of that language about, oh, it's wet, it's dry, in, out, things like that are really, really helpful there. There are two really good blogs that I really like are Messy Little Monster and Hello Wonderful. And both of those are really good options for our kids. Please sign up only for the free section because I believe Messy Little Monster now has a paid portion. Some of the ideas are really complicated. I, I never do those, but there are some really easy, basic things in there. Every child has an ABC Mouse account. Um, it's an free app with a lot of learning strategies in it. If your child needs new activities for this, please let me know right away. I'm happy to do that as much as I can. Um, the other option is Epic Books for Kids because I know that it's, especially right now, nobody can go to the library. So this is another free app through the school that you are welcome to sign up for. Everyone should have a code. If you don't have codes for ABC Mouse or Epic, please let me know. I'm sorry, I'm trying to move quickly because I don't want to waste your time. Um, every week there will be activities. I want to make it very clear, these are not required. These are just suggestions. They're just ideas to try and help you guys shape your day and maybe provide a little bit of structure where it's needed. If you don't feel like this is something you need or if it's something you try and it becomes incredibly stressful, please don't do it. I will say we did try to stagger it a little bit. So there are um, hands-on activities such as up here. And then there are just really basic, watch a YouTube video and try to do the movements along with it. There are also things like the rainbow videos on Rainbow Day. There's a whole series of songs. One really good strategy with that is to play the song and as the colors come up, because our students really love to label the colors, you can hit pause and say, oh, it's red, it's white. And then the student can say red or have the students pause the video and have the students read the colors off to you. Again, I know that that can sometimes cause behavior. So if that's too stressful, they're welcome to just watch the videos receptively. That's fine with me. Anyways, um, I think that's about it. I just wanted to say hi. I miss all of you. I hope everyone is staying healthy. If you need anything at all, please, please let me know. Again, all of this is meant to be a support. It is in no way intended to be stressful or add on to things or make things more complicated for you and your family. What we want to do is make things easier. I hope to reach all of you soon. Bye.